Some people there are who, being grown, forget the horrible task of learning to read. It is perhaps the greatest single effort that the human undertakes, and he must do it as a child. I mean, here the kid grew up in his whole life. He never saw an object that changed its name when it changed its position. And yet, this is B. Is it B now? No. Is it B now? Yes. Is it B now? No. Is it B now? No. Is it B now? Yes. We're talking about children experiencing a form of confusion that's unnatural to their organs. I, I think that's a that's an interesting and good way to frame things. Well, yeah. Uh, English writing is a mess. The alphabet that we use to write English now was not created for English. It was created for Latin. The English language has about 40 different phonemes that are significant, by which we mean sound values that your ear picks up in order to make the distinctions that make meaning. Our alphabet only has 26 symbols, and so therefore we're always compromised in certain areas by having to represent sounds with symbols that weren't designed to suit those sounds. It, that requires doubling up letters and having other letters serving as markers to tell you what sound a particular letter is supposed to have. So we get GHs and THs and PHs that are supposed to sound like Fs. These things are, you know, there to represent these sounds that don't have their own letters. There are all these complexities. It's a real puzzle, and um, it's a very arbitrary exercise in orthography to figure out what's what. C. K. S. Ch. Sh. O. A. Uh, ow. A. Uh, wa. U. M. M. Mm. P. P. A. 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 R, 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 I, E, E, S, 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 Z, O, A, 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 U, N, N. If my brain hurt, I can't understand what it's saying. My brain is stirred, my head is stirred. It's like it kept on boo 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 boo. Just be. I didn't even know the word. I don't even know what's going on in my head. Pretty difficult, like putting some sounds to these symbols, and, uh, knowing the difference between one and another, and knowing that some are numbers and some are letters, and that you can put them together and they form a whole completely different thing. I knew the letter names. It was like the sounds and the bigger words. In the words that, like, when you sign them out, they don't, they like, aren't pronounced the way they sound. I get confused a lot because I'll sit there and I get frustrated. It's um, it's no fun. I don't like reading. It's, I mean, I'm sounding them out like I've been taught, but it just ain't. I don't know. It just don't work because you know they tell you to sound out, and then the, you know you got vowels, and some of them are silent, and it's just like, well, these two work together to make this, and it's like, huh? I mean, it's just like it's, it's so confusing. It, well, in English, <laughs> get the hook. There are lots of reasons why English is stinky. Uh, inconsistencies, absurdities, facts contrary to the uh, etymology that show up in the writing system. Uh, it's a mess. English seems to be a total monster. Why do I have one tooth and several teeth and I go into a restaurant and sit in one booth and there aren't several beef? Who came up with E-N-O-U-G-H spells enough? The letter O makes every sound under the sun in different words in English, like uh, other, hmm, you know, uh, off, of, of, by F. I don't hear F making v sounds very often, and it doesn't. In fact, it only does it in of. To spell vo, T-H-O-U-G-H, is madness. It would have been much more sensible just to use an R for what we use, I-R, E-R, U-R, A-R, and O-R, to represent. How come G and K are two different letters, but B and blah are not? I mean, what are the rules here? Where are you going to divide this up? I don't know of anything that is, has 
more exceptions than uh, reading uh, than reading in English. And I think that's a shame. I think it's, it was a design error, basically, on English. I see no reason for it to be that way. Now we learn. We learn as children. And we're, you know, sort of brought into a cultural environment where we become habituated to those relationships. But there's nothing natural about it, nothing at all.